All right, good morning. 617 ice baths in a row every single day since December 22nd, 2022. <laughs> All right, the plunge is 39. The water is, the water's 39. The air is 57. Woo, it's Wednesday morning. Let's do it. Getting this cold water. I get asked all the time about the benefits I've noticed after doing this every day for over a year and a half. And I'll tell you, the better sleep, better mental alertness are real things. No more back pain is a real thing, the biggest thing. But one of the other things was carpal tunnel, this hand. I play video games. If you watch my channel, you've probably seen some of my Fortnite videos. I play Fortnite with my son. I played six duos this past weekend, won three of them, which is fun. But I used to get carpal tunnel in my computer, a keyboard and mouse guy. So my keyboard hand holding it there for a couple hours at a time when I play Fortnite, my hand would really hurt. That's completely gone away, guys, since I've been doing ice baths. No more car carpal tunnel at all. I always forget to say that when people ask me the benefits of this until I'm playing Fortnite and I remember, oh yeah, my hand used to really hurt a lot and it doesn't hurt anymore. So that was a huge benefit. No more carpal tunnel at all. Let's just add that to the list of benefits from uh, daily ice baths for over a year and a half. It's pretty cool. It's amazing physically how ice baths help you. It's not fun right now. It sucks sitting in here right now in 39 degree water. It's hard to breathe. It hurts my feet and hands can hurt sometimes. They ache really deeply. But when I'm done, when I'm out, they, I feel incredible. No more carpal tunnel at all. No more sore back at all. It's just amazing, guys. So let's add that to the list of benefits. One of the things I put up a video, people like my Fortnite videos, so that's fun. So I put them up, not all my wins, but I put a lot of them up. I commentate on them. Somebody will say every now and then, you're trash, or that's the worst gameplay I've ever seen. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Somebody put that up the other day. It's the worst gameplay I've ever seen. I said, well, watch some more of my videos then. You might see worse yet. Uh, it's just so funny. And it's, you know, I think about what is this trait of people you admire? One of the first things that come to mind for me of people I admire is their attitude. A positive, energetic, fun, inspiring attitude. That's what I look for. So when somebody says that's the worst gameplay I've ever seen, or you know, a hater's gonna hate online, do you think that's an attitude of somebody that inspires you or someone that you look up to? No, obviously not. I mean, come on. <laughs> Jim Rohn used to say, I used to think when I was younger, liars shouldn't lie. And he's like, well, how naive can you be? That's what not liars do is they lie. <laughs> that's why we call them liars. People say, well, people shouldn't hate on social media. Well, that's why we call them haters because they hate. It's like quit living in shoulds and shouldn'ts and live in reality. There's always going to be people below you trying to tear you down. That's just the way the world works, right? If you put a lot of energy into that, you're wasting your time. There are always going to be haters and liars in the world, unfortunately. But accept it. Live your life in reality, not shoulds and shouldn'ts. All right, guys. Over three and a half minutes today with the video on. So have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.